Canada 2, as we like to call Canada Who, um, is comprised of uh, Christopher Spring, Derek Plug, myself, and Graham Renholm. And um, we were kind of uh, the underdogs on, on the circuit. The season was going great. Like We didn't expect to be coming top 10 in all these races, and this breakout season was spectacular. Like. We had, the, we had so much fun while doing it and had some really good results and being top 10 in the world is you know, quite a feat for our first year on the World Cup circuit. For the fourth stop on the World Cup circuit, Canada 2 landed in Altenburg, Germany, home of one of the most challenging and dangerous tracks in the world. We hadn't crashed in a while, so I was thinking, you know, maybe we'll crash here, maybe not. We had gone around, I think, almost two years without crashing. The day before the accident, uh, we actually crashed and uh, we, we were fine, like a little bit like shooken up, but nothing too serious. So, uh, and then we, that, we did a run right after and we made it down. So I was confident that we were gonna make it. The next day, the accident happened and uh, things totally switched around. From what I remember, we were, it, it seemed like a normal run. We, we pushed off and everyone got in the sled fine. And then uh, I guess something went wrong. I was resting for the two-man race. I was going to be two days later. And I was doing video between corners 12 and 13. And I just remember uh, listening, like, listening to like, his run. And all I hear is this loud bang. And I thought in the back of my head, I'm like, that's, that's not good. Like, that's not right. I remember rolling into one of the corners. And, and it, to me, it just it, it felt like a, a normal crash. Um, we, we slid up up the track a bit of the ways and then we came back down. I remember I didn't feel any pain or anything like that. It just seemed like a, a normal crash. And I looked up at my, my pilot and I, I saw blood all over his face. When I show up, it's, it was actually a lot worse than I had imagined. And to see your friends in pain like that and suffering was, was pretty hard for me. The front axle um, on the sled came right, right through down the middle of the, of the sled and stopped at the back axle and hit, it hit every single one of us on the way back. I was just worried about them making it out alive. At the time, the injuries looked very bad and the guys were not moving on the ground and you know, there was, there was lots of blood there. In the back of my head, I'm like, the, it's dreams over. Like Bob say, it's, it's done. My team is gonna be out forever. You know, I'm gonna have to do something else. Like it was, uh, it was really hard for me to see. Team Canada pulled out of the Altenburg competition after deeming the track conditions unsafe. At the next World Cup stop, bobsleigh and skeleton teammates rallied around Canada too. Jesse and Melissa are incredible athletes, incredible people, and I look up to both of them. Um, they've definitely been a huge support, and um, they're a big part of why I'm, I'm going to get back into another sled. Um, just seeing, seeing them rally around us and, and support us is just, it's, it's great and it, it, it definitely helps us for sure. It's just, it's a whole nother fire inside to, to, to see all that love being sent our way. For Canada too, it's, it's, uh, it's just a barrier that we're all going to have to get over, um, physically and mentally. Um, but, but Team Spring and Canada too will definitely bounce back from this, from this accident. Hopefully we'll come back even stronger next season. Uh, new sled, uh, the team dynamic will still be there of course and uh, I think we could prepare. We'll have enough time to prepare for Sochi and uh, make a very good run at it. Going to the Olympics has been a dream of mine since I was a kid so it would, uh, I wouldn't want this, uh, this accident to, to get in the way of my dreams at all.